Have you ever had a chemical splash into your eye like a cleaning substance? Well, here's what to do. Don't call anybody immediately. What you wanna do is irrigate that substance out of your eye as quickly as possible. Providing that you do this, there really should be no long-term effects. If you're at work and there's an eye wash station, immediately go there and let that water rinse out the eye. If you're at home, a shower works great as well, but sometimes neither are available. And what you need to do is hopefully have some sort of irrigation solution around. This is eye wash, it can be bought at any store. And this is nice because it actually has a nice nozzle to it. You can squirt this and directly get it into the eye. Contact lens solution can work well, providing it's the right contact lens solution. If it's a hydrogen peroxide based solution, you wanna hold off on that because you're gonna make the situation worse. So if you look at your contact lens solution, you're wondering if this is an okay substance to put into your eye. In the eyeball world, most bottles with a red cap typically are gonna burn and are not really intended to put into your eye. More of the white caps can be safe that you can put it into your eye. The other thing that you can do, if you know the actual chemical that entered your eye, write down that name, bring that chemical in so we can actually test the pH of that chemical so we can actually determine if it's an acidic substance or if it's a more of an alkaline substance. Once you have that irrigated out and the eyes feeling relatively comfortable, it's still a good idea to come into the office. What we do in the office is measure your tear pH. We have these little strips. What we do is tear this off and we actually test the pH of your tears. This solution here is pH neutral. So when I spray this, it actually turns this green color. And this is actually what your tear pH would look like. So we match that up. We know that we have neutralized your tear film. Follow for more.